shock and surprise in neighborhoods tonight where Metro Police are wrapping up a widespread prostitution ring. Now, that raid hit four massage parlors across the city, producing as many as 10 arrests. Now, one of those parlors is attracting some extra attention tonight because of its location. Box 17 Sky Arnold has the story tonight from Green Hills. Two ounces of cheese. Sandwiched between Green Hills Mall. Oh, yeah. And Trader Joe's. Seven ounces. Is a strip mall where Kate Burns makes pizza. We did notice that they had their blinds closed a lot, which was weird. The talk today isn't about toppings, though. And you don't expect that over here. Instead, it's the prostitution bus that happened two doors down at Golden Massage. We kind of made the jokes, but it was like more like we thought it was just, you know, funny name and stuff, but we, we never thought like. There was actually that next door. As it turns out, other businesses were suspicious. Some tell us they saw people showing up at late hours, and other businesses even reported their suspicions to police. Uh, the community trust and partnership we have uh, is what led us here today. Uh, more than likely on our own, in and of our own, uh, we would not have been able to, to build a case against these four businesses. Those four businesses Captain Mike Alexander is talking about include the ABC Massage on Franklin Road, the Acupressure Treatment Center south of downtown, and the Daily Massage in Rivergate. Uh, the four businesses involved today uh, revolve around several infractions. It's not a one-time event. Police say they all have different owners, but are part of a growing prostitution concern that's even impacting high-end areas like this one. I'm very surprised. It's shocking to hear that that would happen in a place like Green Hills. Back in this pizza shop, the reaction is the same. Few expected to see police officers making prostitution arrests so close. It's just kind of weird. You don't expect that over here. And that was Sky Arnold reporting. Metro Police tell us that this particular business case uh, of prostitution is not the only concerning part of this investigation. Authorities are taking a very close look at how some of the women got involved in this business. We'll have more on that part of the story tonight at 10.